so this is the bottle speaker um, rack that I just finished making. Let me explain how, or rather, what a bottle speaker is. It's a project that I do in my physics class uh, that I teach. Um, it's just a simple water bottle. The top cut in, the top cut off. Uh, the, I guess, neck uh, attached to a tube of paper, about that big. So again, simple tube of paper. Um, the lighter, the better, obviously. Um, the lighter it is, the easier it is for the speaker cone to move up and down. Um, could influence uh, how things sound. So, but I've done these about, um, I'd say that's about two inches high. Uh, that's 40, 40 turns of very thin Radio Shack magnet wire, the stuff that you get in the three pack, uh, really common. Um, so I've got the two leads that come out. One lead comes here uh, to say a left channel that I have uh, attached to an audio input and if I lift this up you can see how I wired it up. So one wire is ground, one wire is left, one wire is right. Um, the ground wire meets here and is connected to the ground wire on this other bottle speaker uh, sort of um, I guess socket. Uh, they kind of look like light sockets and that's kind of what I wanted to do was to be able to plug in multiple bottle speakers even two liter two liter size bottle speakers um, so uh, what I have inside is just a neodymium magnet it's not glued it's just it can roll roll around free inside there I could uh, pick it up um, it's nice if it just kinda sits in the middle uh, there's nothing in here nothing in here and then I've got a um, Radio Shack ceramic disc magnet. I've got three of them uh, stacked one on top of the other and they they kind of look like this. Um, you know, one of them does and uh, they're pretty easy to find. Um, donut magnets will work. Anything that will fit inside this. Um, this is from Home Depot, a piece of PVC. You can buy them. It's a one inch coupler and uh, works really well um, that you'll see. So what I've got playing Oh, sorry. Well, uh, this comes out to a regular. This is just a regular 3.5 millimeter audio input jack that you can order from any store, or you can rip it off of some other broken audio gadgets uh, that you have lying around. Pull it out, and um, that's your regular three and a half millimeter audio stereo plug right there. So I can plug that in. That plug is going to um, the set of speakers that I have. Um, and the reason why I use, now notice that I have this plug plugged into the headphone jack. This is plugged into the headphone jack of these speakers. And that's important because this is a powered or an amplified headphone uh, port. Um, your mobile phone or your iPod does not have enough voltage from the audio port to drive big stuff, um, especially something that's manual uh, or mechanical um, or large and mechanical like a bottle speaker. Um, this port is plenty of voltage to drive the piezoelectric headphones that you stick in your ear, those little earbuds. Uh, those are extremely low voltage, high quality headphones. Um, we're not dealing with quality on this obviously, so we need us a little help. So we actually have to stick it into a powered um, or an amplified uh, source. So let me scoot it in. Sorry about that. Um, so what I have is my phone here, and I've just got some uh, some old Sex Pistols playing, and it's God Save the Queen. It looks like you can't hear anything because it's going through all the audio is going through the headphone port. So let's turn it up. No. That's the song playing now. Okay, and you can't hear it because it's all being, all that voltage is being pushed over to the bottle speakers. So let's pop these in there and watch. It's quite cool. Can't hear anything, but we'll listen when. Plug the next one in. So 
we've got two bottle speakers on right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I'm going to try and put the camera in the sweet spot. So you actually have stereo bottle speakers um, with this little project, and you can put multiple right there. So um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, just contact me. Oh, how does this work? Oh, interesting. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, let's kind of quiet things down here. Well, obviously, it works with some sort of relationship between a magnet and that wire with voltage. So as you push current through that coil there you build up a magnetic field I have a permanent magnet down here so it it doesn't have a magnetic field that actually um, pulses this magnetic field on the coil pulses with each beat of the audio signal so as that's pulsing it's repelling or attracting that permanent magnet so as it repels and attracts it physically moves vibrates this uh, bottle, this speaker cone right here. So we're essentially making a, a very rudimentary speaker system uh, powered by electrostatic, um, or sorry, powered by electromagnetic repulsion um, and attraction. So as I move the coil into the magnetic, the permanent magnetic field, you'll begin to hear the sound more and more. I move it away from the permanent magnetic field, there's no more sound. Pretty neat.